Hi YouTubers, welcome back. Um, first of all, music you may hear in the background is James Corner, um, who is a composer for those of you who do not know. Um, okay, where to start? So, last week I lost two and a half pounds. Yay, right? Um, and... That's good, of course, but I think part of it is because I was sick. I actually had the flu for part of last week, so I couldn't keep much down. What I could keep down was, um, probably, I didn't calculate because I didn't even care, um, probably very low in points. Um, I made my own homemade rigged versions of turkey soup um, with what I had, um, turkey and rice and noodles and um chicken stock so you make do with what you have and if you can keep it down awesome so um that's that on that front um this week I know I'm only you know getting ready to enter Wednesday but um this week has been kind of hard um without getting into too much personal detail um my son, who you probably hear in the background coughing, um, is diagnosed ADHD, um, AD, yeah, ADHD. Uh, I said that so fast I thought I skipped a letter. Um, anyway, uh, he is untreated at this point in time. Um, I initially wanted to try going without medicating, but rather, um, different changes in the home. Um, different changes in diet, even though we are on a pretty good diet 99% of the time. But nothing has helped significantly. Not, not enough. And um, unfortunately, it's starting to affect him in school. He's, um, even though he's a very intelligent child, he's starting to kind of fall behind because he just can't stay focused. So, um, and some other few minor issues um so went to the doctor and she forwarded us to a behavioral therapist we had his EKG done to make sure that um, his heart was okay if we decided to medicate um, but she said that um, to go ahead and speak with a the therapist um, and kind of discover you know if you will um, the ideas of medicating well um, I've been researching um, the different medications and um, side effects and I've been learning a lot and um, our appointment was today with a therapist and I left feeling like right now e either the concerns aren't adequate enough, they don't believe me or something, or we're just being strung along, um, stretching everything out for the almighty dollar, milking the insurance company, which is really pissing me off because I don't give a shit how much you want money. My son's health and his well-being, whether it's his health or school or at home is more fucking important than what money you can get out of the insurance company. So I'm really irritated. Um, so I'm going to call. I didn't have a chance to today because today was so hectic. But I'm going to call tomorrow and I'm going to um, try and get in with his doctor and tell her basically what I just said. I feel like we're being strung along. The therapist wants us to come back, but the next available appointment wasn't until the end of January. That's over a month away, and that's not fair to my child because ultimately he's the one who suffers the most. And I'm sorry, but if I have the power, I'm not going to let my five-year-old suffer. So, I'm basically just going to lay it on the line with the pediatrician and tell her something needs to be done. Um, he needs to be given something. I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I think I know what the answer is. 
something needs to be done this is not fair to my kid so um that has kind of gotten me and then I've been looking for a part-time job I'm gonna be starting school in January and that's a whole other deal on its own and so I'm looking for a part-time job and I haven't gotten anywhere on that and it's kind of brought some issues with the family because the family's like you know well how hard are you really looking um are you looking at all and it's just been really difficult then there's the whole school thing and as excited as I am to go back to school I'm also nervous and I think that's normal um but it's caused some concerns in the family as far as um, financial um, stability for myself and I get that which is why I'm looking for the part-time job also um, but I'm really frustrated because I feel like it's a whole damned if you do damned if you don't situation if I don't go back to school I'm going to struggle financially for the rest of my life as a single parent and um, the fact of the matter is, is innate to be able to pay my bills um, I'm going to have to work more hours than I think is fair to as a parent, but if I work hours so that I'm fair as a parent to my son so that he gets adequate time with his mother, then I will fall short with my bills. But going back to school, which is basically a necessary evil to get anywhere in life, um, is really going we're going to have to really tighten that belt really freaking tight financially and it's going to suck and things are going to be hard but do I look at things um, in the short term tomorrow next week next month or do I look at things in the long term how things are going to be <coughs> excuse me um in 10 years when I have that degree but it's led to a lot of this um, these overflowing emotions and feelings of I can't imagine how my mom must feel about me um, I hate to say this but I feel like if I were in my mom's position I would see me as you know the daughter as a failure 18 years old, has a kid, baby daddy is, we're not even going to get into that, and at 24, just finally going back to school, granted I'm much better off, you know, I would, um, in the standards of comparing myself to uh, my kid's dad, I most certainly am not a loser, but by my standards, in a sense, yeah, I kind of feel like I am one. Um, so my emotional state has kind of been up and down, up and down, and last night, for what it's worth, I had a bit of an emotional breakdown. So today I kind of fell off the bandwagon and had pizza and I had Ben and Jerry's, which is, I love Ben and Jerry's. So it's just kind of sucked all the way around. Um, I'm hoping... I'm hoping for a lot of changes, a lot of real changes. Not changes promised by somebody knowing that they can't give them. Um, God, I'm an asshole. Um, I'm hoping something lets up soon because I kind of feel like I'm at the end of my rope. And that is kind of like a recipe for um, disaster if you ask me when it comes to somebody who's trying to lose weight and has a food addiction problem so that's why I stand I figure if I'm going to vlog I'm not going to vlog on just the positive happy things I'm also going to be completely upfront and honest um, about all the bullshit too so there you have it my first negative vlog or vlog whatever so hopefully the next one will be of a happier tone with some happier news so hope uh, everybody else is doing a little bit better than I am and I'll see you on the flip side